everything in Berlin is gonna be black and white. We're gonna film in black and white everything. Really? Yeah. yeah, it looks cool. That's dope. And like that, we're in Berlin, not Berlin, Ohio. <laughs> this guy booking the rooms. <laughs> and he sticks me with the bill. <laughs> Developing a rash in my crotch region. I'm gonna go run in front of this bus. Hashtag delicious. Spreading <laughs> <laughs> nice. cigar culture all through the world. All right, y'all, we are in Berlin, Germany, and we are here to conquer. Uh, we have parties set up, we have uh, people to meet, we have passionate cigar smokers to converse with and share beautiful cigars with. We've made a wonderful uh, box press Maduro uh, for Berlin that is just so fantastic. I love it so much. And um, we're off today to do a cigar smoker's guide to Berlin. Uh, we have so much in store for you guys. I can't wait to share it with you and um, make you feel like you're along on the journey with us. So stay tuned. I want to show you a little interior decorating tips that I'm learning in Berlin. Would you look at these lights? Look at these. Look at these. Look at these lights. I mean, look. Would you look at this light? Get in the car. Look at this. What is this? Come on. What are you doing here? Give this man a cigar. Would you give him a cigar? Look. The baby's gonna smoke a cigarette. <laughs> you see that? Crazy. This is how silly things get when you let government take over everything. Unbelievable. That that kid's gonna grab a cigarette. There you go. This is for you. Whoa! Instead, thank instead you. of cigarette, no more cigarettes. Cigar. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. You're very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Schmeck gut. Schmeck gut? Ja. Lecker? Lecker. We are Privada. <laughs> My wife would love this. It's cheese whiz and jalapenos. Oh my god. This is fucking Man. incredible, bro. I'm gonna go run in front of this bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, these two guys make each other's penis disappear. It's an amazing show. Only in Berlin. <laughs> Kanye West went here. That means we should stay as far away from it as possible. <laughs> and they're having the famous currywurst, you know? Oh, so it's like. So this is a bratwurst, like a yeah, sausage. It's a bratwurst. Which will give me heartburn all day long. Exactly. And then we're going to pepper some curry on top <laughs> to make the, the smell with, even but worse. But with the ketchup. Where they're adding curry to the ketchup already. Oh, I've had that. I've and had on that. top they're putting curry. Wow. I get the thing, you know. Oh man, I'm gonna have three of them. So listen, if you guys want to be miserable, come to Berlin. <laughs> come to Berlin, Germany. <laughs> if you like being angry first thing in the morning, I actually fit right in here. Welcome to mother Berlin. You can't even curse right. <laughs> so it's cash only, like all good tax avoiding uh, businesses, and. Um, Mark's going to get cash. I told him I would pay him back. <laughs> and why they became so famous is because they are putting the vegetables under the meat. Do you see it? Like it's full with vegetables. And they're putting on top those grilled vegetables and you don't have this normally in a kebab. That's funny. I'm getting the wiener schnitzel fam. You. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. This is a lot. Potato. The potato is amazing. And then it's got vegetables and this meat. It looks like a, a chicken of some sort. I am thoroughly impressed with this actually. You got the logo. I'm sure I can steal the logo when we get back. So now we're going to the East Side Gallery. So East Side Galleries were they're still having parts of the Berlin Wall. So we're out here at the uh, Berlin Wall, which was erected in 1961 and was up until 1989. And basically it represented the separation of Germany from East Germany to West Germany. West Germany being more liberal and free and believing in the free world and East Germany being a communist country. 
I believe that where we're standing right now was where they had, uh, I think they would call it the sand trap or the death trap. And basically, they would sprinkle sand and gravel here so that they could follow footprints. So people trying to escape to freedom uh, could get tracked down and murdered. I mean, it's an, an atrocity uh, of a situation. The fact that this was up less than, you know, 60 years ago, 70 years ago, is just very telling how far we've come as, as people. That's just my feeling on life and that kind of stuff. So we're not gonna hang out here all day. We got some good footage and um, you know, we'll never forget this. Now it's time to go smoke a cigar. So uh, uh, we believe that this picture depicts, this is the most famous picture on the wall now. And this picture depicts uh, the leaders of both sides making out, which is pretty ironic and cool. That's something that I would do if I was an artist, I would just to be a pain in the ass and see these two powerful guys have to look at each other kiss every day. Maybe I should do that on a cigar band. You're not supposed to touch the cigars. They're supposed to get it for you. And it's about service. It's, they cut it for you, they light it for you. For them, uh, going in the humidor and grabbing your own cigar is like, going behind the bar and making your own drink. That a Cuban cigar smoking experience is supposed to be like champagne. You go in, you sit down, and they uh, serve you. And um, the service is different, the attitude of the employees is different. It's not extremely friendly. Um, it's more like a museum curator kind of thing. This is the Romeo y Julieta, and I forgot the name of it already, it's a new one. It's fantastic. This is much better than the, yeah. This is much better than the uh, Cohiba that I had the other day, the Robusta, much better. Um, and this is a fantastic cigar, and yeah, and yeah, I don't think you're gonna be able to get anything in the new world that tastes exactly like this, except for uh, the De Crossier in the 6x46 Illumina series. Tastes a lot like this. My flavors are amazing, but the draw, this was the second one I cut. The other one was too tight. I could not even smoke it. So that's kind of tough. Um, you know, if the cigars are going to be this expensive, everyone should be perfect. It starts with the uh, tobaccos. Then it goes to the expert construction, the, the, the making of that cigar. Then it goes to the aging. And then it goes to the experience of the smoking, of course, which is the most important part. So let's talk about this now that we're not there anymore. So first of all, you don't walk into a humidor uh, at a, a high-end Cuban cigar shop in Europe and start picking out cigars. In general, you don't do it. Not just with the Cubans. Like yeah. a good tobacco store. Because, and this is what I lo do love about the German cigar culture. Uh -huh. Most of the businesses are family-owned. And it's like their pride in a good You're way. walking into their home. You're walking into their it's home. It's their gallery. It's like going into a jewelry shop. You don't just pick yeah. up the jewelry. Right. They present it to you, they cut it for you, they light it for you. There's an experience that they want you to have and they're professionals. Yes. It's different, it is unique. I did not follow protocol. <laughs> At the barber yard in Berlin, Germany. I'm here with my man Hussein. Come on over here, Habibi. Hey, how you doing? Uh, this is my brother over here. He's gonna give me a shave. I could smoke while he's shaving me. For sure. He doesn't get offended, but I'm gonna get a shave and then we're gonna go downstairs into this private telephone booth and go down into a private cigar lounge where we're gonna enjoy some cigars and we brought him some gifts, some nice cigars. With pleasure. Yes, okay. Let's do this. I, I, I want to get a real old school shave. Very cool.
<laughs> Very cool. I feel good, I'm ready to pass out though. So, um, we made this cigar for Berlin. So I'm American, what the hell do I know about Berlin, right? Mm. But I do studying, and I see that Berlin is a dark place. Yeah. Not only uh, dark weather, but uh, they like the dark nightclubs, right? Yeah. There's a dark clothing, things are dark here. So, so I wanted a darker dark. cigar, and so this is the, uh, I know that's bad German, Das Privada, that's our, okay. Oh, it's German. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not good German, but. And, and so, and then we also have the Skyline here. So we designed this oh. band for that, and then we use the, uh, yeah, the Skyline. Yeah, yeah. This is the inside of a nightclub somewhere, I don't know where. Yeah, no, this experience between uh, this New World Cigar and the Cuban that we smoked, the Cuban was fantastic. It was a beautiful bouquet of flowers. Uh, but it's like the difference between coffee and espresso. Yeah. The flavors get really intense. Cigar culture is curious. If you really get into cigars, it's because you're curious. You're looking to go on a voyage of flavor and, and tradition and culture. And so, yeah, man, they want to see what their brothers and sisters of the leaf are doing in different, um, different uh, countries, for sure. I think this is about as high end as it gets. I mean, it's uh, amazing and what an honor to have our products featured amongst these classic, classic brands. New world meets uh, old. Specken Sie Deutsch. So, um, I went through uh, YouTube mostly uh, watching videos on Berlin and I got to understand the nightclub culture of Berlin and I got to understand the history of Berlin uh, with the wall of course and uh, some of the other uh, uh, things that really kind of shaped the culture here and um, there was one cigar that kept calling my name and this is it uh, it's been sitting in our aging room for about two years now uh, it is a cigar that uh, uh, AJ Fernandez made for us. It is uh, got a San Andreas wrapper, which gives us that dark, earthy, herby thing, right? And then it's got Nicaraguan binders and fillers, some of which are sweet from Jalapa, some of which have spice and grit uh, from Condega, and then also Esteli gives it a little bit of that red pepper. Uh, I lovingly called it Das Privada. I'm sure that that is bad German, okay? Uh, but it will set us apart from everyone else, right? It is uh, dark, it's sensual, and it's got a lot of nuance for a Maduro cigar. And I can't thank you enough for sharing our cigar culture with uh, your customers because I believe that a chapter has turned. A page has turned and there's a new chapter in cigars. You know, we look forward to many years of business together and I thank you for having us here. This thank is you. a beautiful thank lounge, you. very nice work. Look at this. So, uh, Berlin is known for its club culture. Uh, in their club culture, anything goes. S and M, uh, bondage. Uh, the, they have dark rooms where anything goes. People are having sex, drugs, the whole thing. They go all weekend. They open on Thursday and close on Monday morning, and you can stay all weekend. It's pretty crazy. So the the top band kind of represents a little bit of that you know, dark side of that culture. And then the bottom band is, is a panoramic view of Berlin itself, the city itself, so. Uh, 
I don't know if you can zoom in on that, but that is the Bahique. That is the, the cigar to end all Cuban cigars. And you can see the wrapper's pretty good on that. Okay, it's certainly, I think, A grade for uh, Cuban tobacco, right? Now I want you to come over here. Still expensive cigars, but more of your daily cigar. Now, do you see this Romeo and Juliet? Do you see the wrapper quality there? Yeah. Now those spots are normal. They're natural, they happen. But at a factory like the factories we use, they probably wouldn't be on the cigar, okay? Um, in fact, we just had a batch of cigars that we're making in a very new, special country uh, and some of the wrappers have that and so we're separating those we'll sell them for a majorly discounted price because of that wrapper quality i wore a very berlin-esque sweatshirt this is some high-end shit right here my dude anyone wants to challenge my fashion game in the cigar industry you are more than welcome to which one is stronger you would say what are you in the mood for? Do you want sweet and... Yeah, I want to follow a rule because if you... Now we actually had to... If you you had this first? Strong cigar first and then this one? Come along. It's different. Totally different, but it also punches. So it will, it will add up. <laughs> Your father made these cigars and he hit them up his ass in a Hanoi prison. And when he died, I hit them in my ass. Also, I could bring it here and smoke it with you. You guys got fat while everybody starved in the street. It's my time now. If a nickel bag gets sold in the park, I want in. When this is my, the most joyous part of, uh, I love serving you all and getting those thank you letters and knowing how much joy it brings to you each month. I love serving the manufacturers by getting them to make their best product and telling their story to the world. But the thing I love the most, I am a consumer at heart and getting to meet with people like these that really love this shit, that know the real stories. The highest level of success that I will have is that you will all understand these stories uh, and know the history of this cigar industry. And that's why it's so important that eventually I get to tell all the people who made this industry's story. But it's so crazy, the six degrees of separation between all the different families and the different tobaccos and the different rollers that came out of this factory and went to that factory and why this style is similar to that and where these people come from. So. We're here to tell the story, and I'm here to collect all this information and share it with people like this that truly love it. So that's all I got to say about that, Mr. Tyler, the creator. It's 7 a.m. in Berlin, Germany. We just had some espresso. There's no X in espresso. Uh, and um, we're on our way out of Berlin. Uh, Berlin actually turned out to be a pretty straightforward cigar smoker's guide. There's, it certainly has its own character and flavor. It's been a wild ride. We are, have been gone for a week. Uh, we've traveled more than I think like 45 hours so far. No, I'm sorry, uh, traveled more than like 35 hours basically in airports and planes. Uh, and we're about to do another 15 today. So it's... Um, it's taken its toll. This is a trip of a lifetime. I hope that we've done a good job documenting it to make you feel as though you were on the trip with us. I think uh, maybe some of you will save you a trip and some of you uh, will get you to go to certain places, but um, you know that's up to you guys. I, once again, I'm just so grateful for you watching. I hope that you please leave a comment. I hope that you please share this. And I hope that we've done a good job sharing American cigar culture, actually, the, really the, the new wave of American cigar culture with uh, parts of Europe and um, I look forward to doing more of that in the future. Hashtag we are Pravada, hashtag we are family, hashtag we are our own industry. Peace.